What is up YouTube? Jacob from Monk Monk Studios here. And I'll be showing you guys how to make a cool effect with particle systems. Uh, we'll be making a torch, which will have little flames kind of coming off it. Not actual flames, but like particle flames. And it just kind of makes it look cooler. So, uh, start off, we can delete this cube by hitting delete. And we can delete this torch by hitting right clicking and hitting delete. Okay, so now we're going to need our other, I guess our torch. So we're going to go to File, Append, and then we're going to go to where you have Jake's Minecraft stuff. You're going to go to Object, and Torch. So there's our torch. Looking gorgeous. So let's just move it a little closer to the camera. And... I'm just going to move it a little closer. Like there. That looks gorgeous. Okay. So, now what we're going to need is... Oh, and if you don't know how to move, you hit G to move it. Uh, just a little thing if you don't know how to do that. So, um, now we're going to go over here. And we're going to go to Material. And we're going to click Shadeless. So that way, even if there's no light, you can still see the torch. So now we're going to hit Shift S, cursor to selected. And then we're going to add a lamp with a point. And we're just going to make it a little bit above it. And then we're going to give it a sphere effect. No, actually we don't need a sphere effect. It's fine without the sphere effect. But what we're going to do is we're going to right click on our torch and then we're going to shift right click no other way around right click on our light and then shift right click on our torch and then hit control p and then parent to object so now wherever you move your torch that light will move with it so what we need now is we need uh to hit shift a mesh cube and then we're going to scale this cube down and we're going to just make a little Kind of at the top of the torch. And we're going to go and go into properties, material. So that little thing right there. Material. New material. And then we're going to put the specularity down to zero. And we're going to click this little transparency checkbox. And turn the alpha all the way down to zero. So now that cube won't render as there. So now what we need is our particle for our flame. So we're going, when we're, our mouse is over the 3D scene, we're going to hit 2 to go to layer 2. And we're going to hit shift A to add a plane. So this is our plane. So we're going to hit tab. And that will put us in edit mode. So we're going to hit R, Y, no X. RX 90. So this will rotate it on the 90. And we need this so our particles will be facing up and down. And now what we need is we need to hit U. And this is for UV mapping. And we click unwrap. So now we go over to this little box over here. Click this button and go to UV image editor. So we'll open up our little UV image editor. And we're just going to make it a little bigger. And now we're going over terrain.png.001. And we're just going to scale this box down. This is, where our, this is where our texture will be coming from. And we're going to just scale it down so it kind of matches this. And we also have to click UV Snap to Pixels. So, there. And then just kind of grab it and then snap it to those four pixels up at the top of the torch. And now what we need is this material, this plane to have a material. So we go over with materials and click new. And then we're going to set the intensity to one and specularity to zero. And then we're going to click shadeless. 
Now what we're going to do is go over here where textures are, and we're going to click that and add a new texture. So we're going to change the type to image. And we're going to go down here where it says image, click on this button, and get the same name or same picture as the image up here that we just put our mapping, our UV mapping into. So we're going to click that. And there we go. And it says raw. If yours says raw, click it and change it to sRGB. And raw just makes it a lot lighter and it doesn't look very realistic. As well, I guess, compared to Minecraft. It's realism. And then we're going to scroll down until we see mapping and go to generated and click that and change it to UV. So that looks good for now. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click on this little object data, I guess it's called, object it says. We're going to click there and we're going to name it from plane to particle. Okay, so now we're done with this scene. I think we can right click on your, your uh, particle, I guess, and hit H to hide it. And now we're going to go to scene 1 by clicking 1 with your uh, mouse cursor in the 3D scene. And now we're going to right click on the cube and we're going to click particles. We're going to click there and we're going to hit the little plus button and we're going to change the number to about 125. And then we're going to change lifetime to about 15 should be fine. And eh, maybe let's make it 20. So we'll make it to 20, and that's how long the particles will last. And this is the start frame of when you want it to start and when you want it to end. So if you're making particles shoot from, like, I don't know, a player's foot for a running animation or something like that, you're going to have it start and end at separate times, or the times you want the particles to start shooting out. And then you can decide on the lifetime of it and the amount you want. So number is the amount you want, lifetime is how long they'll last, and start and end. And now what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down until we see render. And we're going to change from halo to object. And then dupli object is the object that's going to be duplicated. So we're going to click here and change it to particle. So that's our particle that we just created in the other layer. And now we're going to change from random size 0 to 1. Um, and we're going to change this, multiply mass with size. We're going to click that. And it looks pretty good for... Yeah, it looks pretty good. So when you're over your 3D scene, if you hit Alt-A... Okay. Um, it's not showing because I think we have to have our our uh, particle not hidden. So go to layer 2 by hitting 2 and then click Alt H. And then go back to layer 1 and there. Particles are just flying all over the place. But they're going downwards. So now what we need is to add a a force. So like a force field. So what we're going to do is actually first we're going to right click on our our cube and shift right click on our torch and hit control P. So now wherever we move our torch, everything else moves with it. And now we're going to hit shift A and add force field wind. We're just going to hit G and grab it on the Z axis by hitting Z. We're just going to bring it down a little. And we're also going to hit hold shift and right click on the torch and then hit control P. So now where you move the torch, everything moves with it. So, now we click on our field, and this is our wind, and then we're going to go to physics, and change the, actually I don't know if we have to change anything, let's see. That kind of looks nice. So, you, if you see it like spaz out, kind of, how that like, that appears there, that actually shouldn't be there. It looks like it's there, but when you render it, it's not there. 
so don't freak out about it. And so if you look at the particles, they don't look like pixels. So what we do is we go back to layer 2, and we right-click on our particle, and we go to our material, and then I take that back, we go to our texture, and then we go to image mapping, or not image mapping, image sampling, and we click MIP map, and we untoggle that, interpolation, untoggle that, and filter to box. And now when we go back to our first layer, you'll see they look pixelized. So that's how you get them. They just kind of rotate like that, and it'll look cool. It's got an, uh, a little adds more realistic or adds more realism than Minecraft already has, because Minecraft's very realistic, and it just will make your animation a little higher notch, I guess. No pun intended. So, um, you can add this for, you can change the particles from that plane, you can change it to, like, a dirt cube if you're making them run or something, or whatever the case may be, maybe you want, like, building debris, because, like, you made a building fall or something complicated like that, whatever you're doing, particle systems are nice to use for that, and just makes it a little cooler. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and if anyone needs any help with anything more or wants to know how to do something that's a little more advanced in Blender or even if you have another idea for a tutorial, just comment below and I'll see what I can do. Thanks for watching and have a good day.